now in Roman's home, driving towards Arbon. And Arbon is the last town or city along the Bodensee. And after Arbon, we are going to drive towards Appenzell, which is over there in the backdrop. I don't know if you can see it. So we're going back to the mountains, back to the hills, there where this husky belongs. So hold on tight and enjoy the ride. I don't know what that thing is for, but it looks cool. <laughs> Some sheepies, hello baby. Here we are at the city of Arbon with its castle. <laughs> we haven't seen any castles today. On our last trip we saw like four or five castles, so that is something special. Now let's see, the old town is over here. We are still looking for the Grand Tour Switzerland sign since we haven't seen any the last 100k. <laughs> and then finally back to the mountains. The mountains are calling. Sorry guy, sorry. Very nice old town. The city hall on our left. Some nice alleys. Church, of course. What would be, this, be a city in Switzerland without a church, right? Oh, I lost Haley. Let's check out the harbor. Our last glimpse at Lake Constance or at the Bodensee because now we are going towards there towards Appenzell and we are gonna leave the northern part of Switzerland behind us for a long long time because only at the end of the Grand Tour of Switzerland we'll be back in the north Look at that! The first sign since 150 km kilometers or something. We were searching like hell for them. What the fuck? So Grand Tour of Switzerland, you can do a better job in the northern part of Switzerland, please. Because navigating through this part is hard. It's one straight line, yes, but still. There should have also been two other photo stops, but we didn't find them. So I hope it's getting better from now, because navigating through those mountains without any navigation and signs will be hard. Hello, motorcycle. Hello. All right, let's see what Sangale and Appenzell brings us a nice Harley and a Yamaha MT09. Peace! <laughs> Finally, we're not driving only straights anymore. <laughs> we drove out of the city of Arbon and straight away got these nice country roads taking us uphill on the right side all the way in the back over there there 
helicopters actually drive uh, flying a zeppelin. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. Old Saluti, small country villages. The cantons of Appenzell, which we are driving through, also has the smallest villages in Switzerland. I believe we're driving through one, so I'm very excited to see it. I believe <laughs> there should be a village with only one house. <laughs> As you can see, the road signs are very present. Every split up, there is a sign, so that's way better than in the Zurich and northern part of Switzerland area. Look at this view, so beautiful. And that's what I like about the country of Switzerland. It is so diverse and like five kilometers ago we we're just driving all flats around the lake and ten minutes later you're in a hilly mountain-like area. So for everybody's liking you have something over here. We are both having, definitely having more fun over here as back there, but hey, it was relaxed as well. But I'm really looking forward to having so. To the capital of eastern Switzerland, as I like to call it, St. Gallen. It's uh, the biggest city in the eastern part of Switzerland. The other one is Chur in Canton Graubünden. And we're now heading towards Herisau, where we want to visit the cheese factory of the Appenzeller cheese. Some nice high bridges over here. So, before, just a couple shots before, we just drove down below this bridge. And it's really nice over here in Sukala. Really cool to drive. So, this uh, road to Herisau is a little detour. It's not part of the Grand Tour of Switzerland, but I'm a big cheese fan, that's why I'm doing this detour. And yeah, so 
sometimes you have to make it a little personal, right? I mean, you don't have to follow the roads like they're giving to you. If there are some uh, places, highlights you like to visit along, along the route of the Grand Tour, just do it. The Grand Tour is just a recommendation of the nicest spots of Switzerland. But I think the Appenzeller Cheese Factory is worth the visit. So that's why we're doing the detour. And otherwise, if you don't like cheese or you don't like to visit the cheese factory, you just follow the Grand Tour signs and we'll meet back up in Appenzell. So a lot of nice bridges in this place. If you look at the landscape, all those hills, it's very needed. And we are now in the direction towards Appenzell. As you can see on the sign, on the road sign. Very nice town over here as well, the Harry Zoo. Take a left here, you get to the cheese factory. We've already been there. Now we're on our way to Appenzell. Here are the cows delivering their delicious cheese or the milk for the cheese. So we're now having an ice break. Haley wanted to vlog as well. <laughs> Wait. So this afternoon we started here in the city of Arbon and followed the Grand Tour of Switzerland all the way to St. Gallen. And then we did a little detour. So the original Grand Tour Switzerland goes over here on our right. But we took the yeah. way to Herisau and then this blue road towards Appenzell. Ha, ha, ha. Wow, what a ride! 